Alright, hello everybody. Welcome to... BAM! A game called Darwinia. It's a lot of fun. And, uh, yes, how am I recording this in such high fidelity? Turns out, I got fraps. So, everything's full. And I'm running it HD. Yay, I can't go any higher because that's as big as my monitor. Actually, my monitor is 1366 by 768 but I run in this because it's easier and it compresses nicer because, well, whatever. Anyways, yes. So, this is a game called Darwinia. It's like a computer game. So, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna play it. Level 1. The Garden. This is what it looks like. Who the heck are you? How did you get in here? I thought I'd terminated all external connections. Yes. Okay, fine. If you're going to stay, you can at least make yourself useful. I don't know anyone who would do that. If I hacked into your computer network, I don't think you'd put me to work. Take some time to get your bearings, then help me wipe out this red virus. So, yeah. Get stuck, press H, and I'll give you some tips. So, the way this works is we can go down. These are Darwinians. They're little peoples. So, hit tab. This is our task manager, which is kind of laughable, but let's make a squad. We can put our squad down and it gets all really cool and pixelated. Yep. So we can left click to move, and if we right click, they'll shoot. That is loud. That is really loud. Ah, uh, that is really loud. Alright, maybe I'll just turn this down and then edit it in post. Alright. Uh, much better. So we can shoot all these viruses. And things will become more apparent as we progress. So now they're all dead. Can go over here now. And shoot these guys. <sighs> you have to kind of hit them in the head. And the fact that they're on the ground doesn't exactly make it easy to hit them. But these guys are just the grunts. The uh, Some of the later monsters are... Yeah. Although some of your later weapons are pretty sweet, too. I've, I've played through most of this game, but... I... I, um... Uh, I did not finish it, and I have this thing with games where I have to actually play it all in relative quick succession, so if I stop for any length of time, I just feel the urge to start over. So I'm doing it, and doing it for a YouTube channel will probably help. Also, if the schedule in my brain... Oh no! If the schedule in my brain works out, uh, this will be up on a Wednesday. Uh, oh no! Oh no! You did not just kill one of me. So, yes, if the schedule of my brain works out, this will be up on a Wednesday. And if it works out exactly how I want it, it'll be up on the 22nd, I believe? Yes. 22nd of August. 2012. Oh, no, I'm about to die. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can get to that research thingy. Ah. Ah. So you're kind of invincible in this game because you can always just make another squad back at the thingy, but then you'd have to walk all the way back and yeah, it's a pain. Anyways, yes, be up on a Wednesday, August 22nd, this s Friday, Saturday, and partially Sunday though, not so much. Me and uh, something are going to do the Ludum Dare Jam, number 24, I believe. What is this? What is this? Great. You found some of my research. Excellent. Create some engineers nearby, and they will download the research into my system. Hopefully, it will be something useful.
Engineers will automatically do anything nearby that needs doing, such as collecting dead spirits or reprogramming buildings. Just left click to move them near a task. Excellent work. The engineers will now busy themselves downloading that item of research into my computer. Unfortunately, almost all of my research was lost a few hours ago when this virus outbreak occurred, so you may run into more research like this one later on. Cool. Yes, so Ludum Dare. I'm looking into uh, live streaming options. Currently, the best one I can find is Google Hangouts, which is not very good. But most of them are not free at all. I do not know how to... Uh, I don't know how to live stream. So if you guys have any live stream suggestions, that would be awesome. Yep. Yeah. So, and now we'll continue with this game. Now we get these cool little research towers. Uh, tap the left while you're firing lasers with your squad. Come on, re building reprogram. So, everything's based around these command towers. I think they're called command towers. And these command towers all do different things. And they're the only places you can spawn your units. So, right here, here's the command tower and the initial opening command tower. It's creepy virus sounds. Here's another one. This one controls this teleport thingy. So, let's see. This radar dish can be used to beam people to other radar dishes. Click on it to control it. Uh, clicking on it didn't work, dude. Uh. Yeah, really. I'm, I'm clicking on it. How do I click on it? Because I've got a unit right now. How do I, how do I deselect the unit? Deselect the current object first. Oh. Okay. Oh, see? Now. Ha ha. And I can point it. Chow. I'm wondering if there's like some other radar dish that I can totally just bypass this level, but. Sweet. Cool. Now I can. How do I, how do I terminate this squad? Terminate that squad. And make another squad. And then we'll direct them into this thing, and they'll turn into little blips of light. Ta -da. And then they'll pop out right here, where there's a lot more viruses, and we'll use our grenades. Come on, come on! Skatoosh, skatoosh, skatoosh! Yeah! This game is so awesome. It's a very, it's a very interesting blend. It's like a real-time strategy game, but you've also, but you control them with your mouse. It's a lot of fun. If it wasn't, I probably wouldn't be playing this. Oh, that didn't go anywhere near far enough. Though it did get some guys. Come on, come on, now. Boom. So we're just going to beat this first level today. It probably won't take very long. We're almost done with it now. I don't know how. I don't know how far in I am. Uh, let's make an engineer, shall we? Right here. Hello. Should, oh yeah, that's right. You don't need to do that because you can just walk across the water. Meanwhile, we'll take our squads. And, oh look, Darwinians. Oh, oh yeah, that's another cool thing. The Darwinians, uh, when they encounter their friendly spirits, that uh, so spirits will eventually lift off into the sky. They basically packages of digital DNA. He explains it later on. Spirits lift onto the sky, so when Darwinians see their friendly spirits start to lift off, they'll send lanterns with them, which is really awesome. And then these engineers will also collect the spirits and stuff. So, let's continue. 
You may have noticed those viri, 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 leaving little red things behind you when you killed them. Those are digital DNA, digital souls, if you excuse the term. Every living creature in Darwinia has its own digital soul. Originally, they were intended for the Darwinians, but the virus has swallowed most of them up by now. Before we can sort this out, we need to get out of this location. What I need you to do here is open up this trunk port for me. Standard control tower nearby, so have your engineers reprogram it, and it'll all be good. One dangerous thing about grenades is you can kill yourself. Oh no! Oh no! I died! Yeah, see, now they're lifting off. But hello. Uh, make a squad. Alright, come on. Go back over here. So grenades can actually blow yourself up. Which is not good. And these viruses, if they see the Darwinians, they'll like just massively attacking. Little trees are like... They're probably some kind of fractal, actually. That would make a lot of sense. I never thought about that before. Yep. So, back over here. Yeah. Yep. And let's go pwn these guys' faces. And then we'll open up the trunk port. And then we'll head out, and I will stop it there, and we'll watch the beginning cuts. Well, maybe we'll watch the cutscene. We'll stop at the menu. Come on, come on. Oh no! Okay, good. Reminds me of Centipede. Alright, let's see if we can put an engineer next to our squad. Oh, we can put engineers right next to our squads. That's awesome. Hey, engineer. Die. There's a, there's a way to shortcut kill them. Oh, apparently there is no uh, keyboard shortcut. Come on, dude. Reprogram. Stop being an idiot and reprogram this thing. There you go. So eventually, these Darwinians actually come into play, and they're uh, they're, actually, they're they're the only ones who can operate all the like little mechanisms and stuff. So they're pretty important. Good work. It looks like you've completed all the primary objectives. Press escape to leave this location when you're done. Okay, you can't really do that, but that would be cool. Awesome. So, leave location. He's gonna give us, uh... I'm sorry if I was rude to you on that island. I've had my hands full for the past few hours. My name is Dr. Sepulveda, and I'm the creator of the Darwinian Digital... Darwin Digital Life Project. I would normally welcome you to Darwinia and show you around, but I'm afraid things have gone a bit wrong today, and we'll have to give you the... and we'll have to... Give the guided tour a miss. So this is a this is a digital theme park, is what it's supposed to be. I need you to help me open up some more of the infected locations. The containment location is sort of a hub world. Please go to that location. And I'll explain more when you've connected. So he's not saying anything more. So we will call it there for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm going to keep playing it, even if. You don't. Obviously, Minecraft and stuff will still come. Uh, Metroid is still on the uh, still on the docket. Uh, not sure how you'll be able to handle the uh, terrible quality on that with uh, compared to this. Actually, uh, he has a lot better of a microphone though, so pretty good. Um, yes. So thank you all for watching. Uh, possibly subscribe if you liked it. I don't like asking that, but I guess everyone does it, so I shouldn't feel bad. Anyways. Uh, for the bajillion time, I will see you all next time. Farewell, everybody.